I'm Andrew Stork, and this is my Penn State story. Um, my work focuses on talking about my military experiences and uh, transitioning from military to civilian life and um, everything that comes with that. And being able to do something like uh, pursue my art career is fulfilling and it just gives me a level of satisfaction I don't think I would get from anything else. My name is Sarah Rybarczak. I am a freshman at Penn State and I'm a potential drawing and painting Bachelor of Fine Arts for the School of Visual Arts. My experience so far has been absolutely incredible. When I was first coming to Penn State, I was so worried because like it's a huge school and you're afraid that you're going to be just a number. I love everything about it. Your teachers are there for you like whenever you need them. And just the feedback you can get from not only them but also your peers to help you move forward and progress is it's amazing. Just the growth that I've made in less than a year is more than I would have thought possible. But you don't have to turn in a portfolio your freshman year when applying to the school. And I know when I was applying to other art schools like around the country, like that like terrified me. Whereas Pet State, they'll accept you and they'll work with you and they'll help you get your art where it needs to be. So you can apply your sophomore or even your junior year if you really wanted to, if you don't feel like you're ready. They really help you so you are ready and you're comfortable with the work that you present. Knowing that the work I'm producing is good enough to go on, that when I'm a junior or a senior applying for a job, like I'll be happy with my work that I want like the world to see and I want other people to see and I'm comfortable with myself knowing that like this is good work, like I want it to be out there. You can make like one piece of work, right? And it for some people they hate it and for some another person. It's like the greatest artwork you've ever seen in your life, right? And so, and that's pretty much true for everything you're gonna make. So you can never be a people pleaser when you make art. And I was for a really long time, so it's a simple idea, but just think about it like this. All you're doing is you're getting knowledge from that particular person, that maybe even demographic, a person that comes from that background and say, every time I make this, that audience might have this reaction. So all you're doing is getting, using that knowledge to be able to then go into your next artwork more educated about how it affects people.